Hey everybody, I thought I would come to you today. Today is a very exciting day for me. I actually stopped by the mailbox on my way home from work and um, my Durston tent came in. So I thought I would just take a minute to, uh, to do a little unboxing here uh, before I go outside and set it up. So let's go ahead and jump right into it because I'm pretty excited, of course, there is cloth in there, so you have to be careful. Um, you should, probably shouldn't be using a knife, but I just use it on the sides where I know the flaps go in, and that way I won't cut the tent. So, and I thought, I thought when I got the box that, uh, man, if it'll pack down that small, um, that's gonna be awesome. Got a little, a little patch, and a little patch with a little sticker came with it. I'll find somewhere nice to stick that. And this is it. Couldn't believe how difficult this was to order. This bag is not a toy. No, it is not. Throw that in the trash in a minute, but that's it right there. The Dursden X Mid 1P. I know a lot of people get two person tents, but um, I wanted to reduce my weight as much as possible and also reduce the size of the tent. Um, this actually is probably just over by you know a few, maybe a couple of ounces more than the current tent that I use, but um, the current tent that I use also is a trekking bowl tent, but it actually has stays in it that don't allow for it to go down to this small of a package. And I'm just extremely excited about how small this package is. That is gonna be, take up so much less room in my pack and uh, for the couple ounces difference that is, that is not going to be an issue for me. So I'm really looking forward to that. So let's go ahead and open it up. I know that these, everything I've read about these things come in two, two pieces. So once you take it out, then you have to put the inside in. So yeah, that's, this, of course, is uh, the inside wall with the bathtub floor. I'm not gonna totally undo it. We'll do that when we get outside. And then, of course, there's the rain fly. I really like the feel of the material. And, uh, I love the color. It's a nice color. And then there's some stakes that come with it. And of course, like everybody else, I'll probably go um, with a different set of stakes, but I know that this has a couple of different types of steak in it. So I know the shepherd hooks are usually used uh, just at the uh, tie outs for the doors at the vestibule. And then these V, V type stakes are used obviously at the corner. There are no pull cords in it, which um, I like to have some in there that are a little bit reflective that makes them harder, harder to lose. But, um, so yeah, just uh, four of these stakes and a couple of the shepherd's hooks. So yeah, that's it. Um, I got the stakes with the bag. I got the, uh, 
the floor, back to the floor and the inside um, bug netting. And then, of course, uh, the outside. And this thing, like I said, I love how small it packs down into this small, very small space and take up so much less room in my pack. So right now, I think I'm gonna go outside and find somewhere that I can uh, throw this thing up and I will uh, try to get that on video so you can see that. But uh, from what I'm looking at here, I'm, I'm stoked right now. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in just a few. All right. Hey everybody, so I'm out here in my backyard now. Um, don't have a lot of real good level space, but I got one little spot down here that I'm going to try to go ahead and get my uh, tent set up. Um, this will be the first time I've ever pitched it, so um, it may look a little weird. It may take a little bit of time, but uh, I'm going to set it up and see what my first impressions are. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've got up the tent. It took me, <laughs> it was funny, of course, you see it on the video. I laid this thing out three different times, and every time I had it upside down. But uh, it's still not a perfect or a clean pitch, but uh, you can actually see. You can actually see it here. Some wrinkles in it here. Uh, pretty smooth on this side. This side's a little wrinkled too. But you know, that's okay. I think once we get the inside put in, Dogs must see a cat. Anyway, I think we once we get the uh, inside put in, maybe we can make a few tweaks. But uh, so far I'm liking it. Seems like it's awful roomy inside. So let's move on to getting the floor in.
this is uh truly is a one person tent but you know looking at the vestibule space there is a ton with the doors open you can see the inside of course this says other vestibule when it zips out there's going to be a lot of room i do see that there's some adjustments on the side that i may have to work on but again on this side you can see another large vestibule and you know this area here you know there's a lot of other tie outs on this thing where you could tie this thing out open it up some right here is the uh, toggle type door open seems to work really well but yeah when this comes back down I mean just look in here if the doors close there's room in here that you could cook uh, put a backpack put your backpack um, since it is a one-person tent you've got equal room on both sides so I will probably get me a piece of Tyvek just to go right under the thing right under the bathtub bottom to uh, to protect that some I see these little hooks on the inside here with a little piece on the the other side where those can actually be hooked out to uh, make more space so yeah my first impressions are that this is going to be an awesome tent um, and now I can't wait to just uh, be able to take it out on the trail and sleep in it at night so Until then, I'm going to tweak and learn a little bit more about this guy, and uh, it'll probably be the tent I take with me next time. All right, everybody. So I've got the tent. Uh, I've taken it down, rolled it back up. Uh, as I said, my first impressions were uh, all positive. Um, I laugh at myself because of uh, trying to get it up the first time. I had the uh, rain cover uh, turned upside down three different times before I was able to figure it out. That's on me. Um, but now that I've got it up and I've got the uh, interior wall um, put in it, I'm going to leave it in there because I think it's just too much trouble trying to put it in every time you take it up and down. Uh, even with that, I think putting it up in the rain it will still be um, protected by the rain cover as you're putting it up uh, just need to get out here and put it up and take it down uh, over and over again and see if i can't um, perfect the pitch um, the inside it does the sleeping portion of it does look to be just a little small but uh, hey uh, that's the way one person tents are i'd rather um, sacrifice some of that interior sleeping space because that's all i'm doing is sleeping um, for the exterior vestibule space so um, first impressions positive um, and like i said before just looking forward to getting out on the trail uh, my next trip is scheduled no later than march um, I'm going to be doing a camp out then, um, but my next hike is probably after that. It's going to be in April. So, uh, so until next time, I'll see you.